Today we're at Fulton Center celebrating the second commission for our digital arts program with incredible new stop motion animation by Chris Sickles of Red Nose Studio. His work, The Blowing Bowler, was selected by MTA Arts and Design to show here at Fulton Center through summer of 2016. It shows at the top of every hour for two minutes and we encourage you all to come and check it out. Well, it all started with the art card poster and we, we kind of decided to find a way to expand that, that image into a story and try to figure out how to, to create a a series of animations that covered traveling and covered traveling across the history of the subway car and the, the evolution of the design of the cars and trying to figure out how to make it as you know as magical as possible not just a not just a history lesson but also having the the character go through the rabbit hole of, of the bowler hat and how that can kind of magically transport you and being being an outsider to the city for me I, I always feel kind of magically transported you know you you fly to the city which is still really cool to, to fly above the clouds and then you're here and you travel in the tunnels under the ground it's, it's a really magical way of getting around that I think sometimes can get lost so I hope to kind of bring that back full circle and let people see that the way that things move here is, is pretty magical in itself. The biggest thing for me is to, to see how it moves through the space and how as the travelers move through the space how the different screens interact with the with the viewers eyes and the scale of it I mean Bigger is always better, right? I mean, especially with animation, with screen work, you usually have a very captive audience. The, the audience just feeds on it. But when you have the audience moving through a space and there's 52 screens that the audience can look at at any given time within that two minute time frame, it just adds a whole nother level of, of dynamic to it. My process is very hands-on, so it's all, it's very tactile. Everything is built, everything's kind of made by hand. A lot of it's cardboard and chipboard and even the little subway cars were made out of cereal box cardboard and manila folder cardboard, so very, Low-tech, just about as low-tech as possible. The characters' clothes are all sewn, hand-sewn, um, kind of hand-picked colors to kind of fit best with the, the scheme of it. We love the idea that his work is handmade, this idea of creating these really meticulous sets and figures and models, and we love seeing that work in juxtaposition to this really modern, new architectural public space here in Lower Manhattan.